I first became aware of it when I was at Dumont. And I got a call from a, a top agency vice president, who I won't name, who told me that uh, I had on my staff a man who was a uh, avowed communist and that uh, I would not get any more business from his agency as long as this man occupied a top position. He was the assistant director of programming. Well, I looked into it, and it turned out we had a little book, a red book called Red Channels, that had everybody listed in it. And this man was listed in it, but it wasn't he. It was a man by the same name, who had the same name as he did, who had entertained at communist uh, meetings. He was a guitar player and a, a folk singer who had the same name as my man. Well, I called this guy back at the agency and said, hey, you got this wrong. He's not the guy in Red Channels. Uh, that's another man completely, and uh, this man agreed. Do you happen to know what Alan Dumont thought of the blacklist? We never discussed it. Never once. Was ch web channels available to anyone? Oh, yes. They, they wide circulation. When I was at uh, uh, McCann Erickson, there were one or two clients who had copies of the books. And we had shows on the air like uh, the Chrysler Theater on CBS and the Chrysler Star Theater was called several others, and we were told to check those casts out to make sure people weren't in the book. So you were forced to do it? Yeah. Do you remember con consciously when it ended, when people stopped referring to Red Channels and it, and it was over? No, it sort of faded away. The big problem as far as advertisers were concerned that the man behind Red Channels was a man who owned a grocery chain somewhere upstate New York. I don't know whether it was Syracuse or Rochester, one of those two cities. And his whole point of view was that he would not carry products of, for advertisers, of products owned by advertisers uh, who had in their television shows people who were in red channels. So their business was threatened in a, an important grocery outlet in New York State uh, by this thing. So they were worried about it.